find Fuse from Exile, and this is something different. One thing that's been requested of me recently is organization, and I'm going to try and do that for you. I upgraded the channel in order to create custom thumbnails, which I'll also be working on adding to previous episodes. I'll be making some playlists pretty soon, and I'll be separating videos by their content. Attacks and Exile, of course, will be my war focus, but when I take the focus off of war, there's going to be a new title. So, welcome to episode one of The Farm Files. In this series, I'll be showing you different ways to farm, and in this episode, I'll be doing that with goblins. A lot of people laugh at goblins, but when I show you what they can do, I don't think you'll be laughing at all. The first thing you want to do is identify the loot that you want. These attacks are predominantly focused on Dark Elixir, and Dark Elixir will always be the priority. I am taking four quakes along for the ride, and I use it when it makes sense to open up a pathway to the Dark Elixir storage. And if I can get away without using the earthquakes, of course I'll do that too and save the Dark Elixir because of course that's what I'm trying to farm right now. The first thing you want to do is plan your route and know your pathing. I use giants to tank, so you're going to want to look at where your defenses are in order to plan where your giants are likely to go, so you can anticipate what you need to do before you do it. The next thing you want to look for are any resources on the outside of the base. Of course, if the collectors outside the base are full, you want to get those first. But when your primary objective is to get to the storages, you don't want to use up all your troops. You want to be careful to keep enough to get to where you want them to go. If you do need to clean up some outside resources, drop a giant or two and a handful of goblins. That's really all you need in most cases. Once you've done this, it's very simple. Drop your meat shields, in this case giants, punch a hole through the wall with wall breakers, drop the goblins, and by the way, they work very effectively with rage. Freeze wizard towers and infernos when you need to. But in a lot of cases, the goblins will run right past the attack. Some of them will get hit, but plenty of them will get past. And since the Town Hall 11 update hit, they go for the Town Hall now too, so this will even work for pushing. Since the Town Hall and the Dark Elixir storage are pretty much centralized most of the time anyway, it's pretty easy to go for both. As you can see, this is quite effective at Town Hall 11. I farmed Town Hall 11 and 10 almost exclusively with this account. On the rare occasion that I do see a Town Hall 9, hardly ever can I take any loot from them. Farming is all about efficiency. That can mean using cheap troops that train quickly, or it can also mean using expensive troops that hit hard if you're focusing on a specific thing, like for example using P.E.K.K.A.s to go after Dark Elixir. Whatever works for you. I prefer to farm using no spells at all, or very little if possible. But the truth is, at Town Hall 10 and 11, that's a lot more difficult, and it's unrealistic to expect yourself to be able to do that every time. I actually pay very little attention to the Eagle Artillery, but if I can place it between my troops and the Dark Elixir, I'll send it the Giants right after it if I can. I'm a little more careful with multi-target Infernos, but really they're not hard to deal with. I just send my Giants in there with them if I can, and if not, if you have a hundred goblins whizzing through there, each stream can only focus on one troop at a time anyway. Your goblins will simply overrun it. The biggest threat to your goblins are bombs and of course giant bombs and splash damage. That would be the mortar and the wizard towers. Those are things to be concerned about, but you don't have to avoid them altogether. Just know where they are, be aware of the map, and pay attention to your troops so you can get them to where you want them to go. Take a look at this base. It's full of loot. I specifically want to go for the Dark Elixir though. First, I drop a few giants on the outside with a handful of goblins to take out the outside resources which could otherwise pull my goblins into the wrong direction. Next I quake through two rows of walls. A line of giants will go down to distract the defenses and protect the goblins. I want to get as much loot as I can, so I'm also going to deploy my heroes and my clan castle. A combination of freeze and rage will ensure that my troops get to the loot. I don't care at all about trophies. I just want the Dark Elixir. Here's a base that most of us have probably seen in war. I've learned from war to hit this one from the bottom. Of course my war army looks nothing like this one. Let's see how it works with the farming army.
I ended up using a lot of spells, but for all this loot, it was worth it. answer is definitely yes. Even with the farming army, hitting this one from the bottom worked out pretty well. Of course everything doesn't always go to plan. Again, my objective here is to get the Dark Elixir. Unfortunately, my goblins had other ideas. Take a look while they ignore it. Unfortunately, one ambitious minion is going to bring home the bacon. In the heat of battle, I didn't realize right away that those expos were set to ground. I end up wasting a couple of freeze spells. But that's okay. It works out anyway. Now you may be watching this and thinking, I'm not Town Hall 11. I don't have max troops. Well, take a look at my Town Hall 8 account. First off, my elixir's full on this account, including pumps, storages, treasury, and yes, even the loot cart. So in these attacks, I'm a lot more liberal with my spells. Town Hall 8 versus Town Hall 9? No problem! Look at them go! You know what they remind me of? Nematodes. No, oh, dang nematodes. <laughs> nematodes. This attack works at all levels. It doesn't matter what town hall you have. Try it out. You just may be surprised how quickly and efficiently you can farm and save up dark elixir or whatever resource you're looking for. Of course, there's no such thing as an automatic win, even with this army. For your amusement, here's a few fail raids. This one starts off well, the giants go down to lay cover, and with the assistance of the warden, I'm even able to break through a second row of walls without using earthquake spells. but I should have used a freeze spell, and I didn't. Not until it was too late anyway. Again, the warden helps the wall breakers get to the second row of walls, but they won't make it to the third row. I should have used earthquake spells. Finally, in this attack, I didn't account for the resource pathing in the center of the ring. The goblins go left and right and ignore the core. Have fun with this attack. And if you don't get it right at first, 
keep trying, because no attack is perfect every time. As always, thanks for watching.